welcome back to the channel. I'm joined by Ollie today. Good afternoon. And um, I'll probably turn that sign for the best. And uh, we are out best in too. his uh, yeah. And then back around the roundabout. And we are out in his Audi RS3. Um, this is what is it, a 15 plate? 15 so it's plate, the yeah. pre-facelift model. Um, this is the first time I've ever been in one. First time. Ne never yeah. been in one before. Never been in one before. First impressions. Um, I like the interior. That's probably my favourite bit at the moment. I haven't, you haven't showcased it to me in the, uh, the power delivery wise, etc. No, we'll, we'll let the old girl warm up a little bit. But we're just going to go out, have some fun. Um, Ollie's going to showcase it to me in uh, all its glory, uh, and then I'm going to have a little go in it. So if we go right around the room, then. Sure. Yeah. yeah, it's. Um, I mean, I love it. Absolutely love it. It's. Um, How long have you had it for now? I've had it for a little bit over a year now, which has absolutely flown by. Um, had an S3 before, so I guess it was kind of natural progression. Yeah. Um, it was, you know, going up from a S3 to uh, this in terms of power it's and, and stuff. Too, yeah, it? well, this is just in this is just in comfort mode. Yeah, so it's got comfort, dynamic, individual, uh, individual and auto. Yeah, so yeah, obviously for you. Standard cruising comforts more than accepted. It is. Um, very, it's, it's a lot more comfy than my RS is. Hundred percent. Yeah. What do you think? Suspension's a bit more. Suspension's a bit, a bit more subtle. Subtle, but I can guarantee when you pull it, put it in, it's a dynamic, is it? Yeah. I, I mean, for me, when it comes to driving hard in this, um, it's got to be in um, individual. I was yeah. Saying to you earlier that the um, but suspension on the UK roads yeah. is um, it's too firm um, for uh, dynamic. It just it crashes around too much. So. Everything else is in like the most aggressive setting. Comfort has to be sorry. The suspension has to be in comfort. Yeah. Otherwise, it just crashes around too much. But um... Yeah. It sounds like a baby V10. It doesn't get old, yeah. When 
I went out in the um, Audi R8 V10 performance. Oh, you've been in one of you? Jesus Christ. Oh, hello. Steer it back for mine. Oh, it does sound nuts. Yeah, it's about... That's a DSG gearbox. It's just insane on these, aren't they? Yeah, you get the um, farts and pops and bangs. RPM, the uh, valve's really open and you really get to hear it. Tight corner coming out there. Oh, that was ridiculous. Yeah, you do and that's a stock exhaust. Stock exhaust, exhaust. stock Audi Sports exhaust. Oh. Actually, to be fair, this isn't that bad in comfort. No. No, so this, this... IRS is stiffer than that. Okay, so this is, um, if I'm not mistaken, we're in individual, so it's, yeah, the suspension's in comfort. I mean, it will still, if you start pushing ah, on it, it will, yeah. um, not necessarily crash around, but you're gonna, you're gonna feel it, it's a lot better yeah. than, um, if it were in, uh, dynamic, basically. It's the, yeah, the noise. Oh, it's this. It's got a nice bit of torque as well, hasn't it? Yeah, it kicks in. To about two and a half, three thousand valves open, yeah. and all kicks in. Ah, oh, yeah, so we can. All right, this will be fun. That takes off on a pound, so we took it. Yeah, like a rocket. And that's just foot on the foot on the floor, it's not a launch or anything. That um, is nuts. How long is this going like straight? Um, it'll go up and then probably dip down a little bit, but you got to be careful of the oncoming idiots. Sure. Um, this sounds insane. Right? It's, it's again for me. Yeah. For me, the number one selling point and the reason I love this car is the engine. Yeah. It's, there's no two ways about it. It's the engine that makes. What's it like on fuel? It's not terrible actually. I mean, on motorway runs in comfort, you'd be looking at about. I mean, I probably average about 33, 34 mpg, which really, to be honest, is really not bad. I mean, obviously yeah. when you're pushing it, it's probably high-ish teens. I mean, when, you, when you're really pushing, obviously it's going to be less than that, but um, in terms of your normal everyday driving um, around town, you're probably you're looking at low teens, yeah, um, low to mid-teens, but motorway runs, it's just in set comfort. Um, yeah, on longer journeys, I've comfortably achieved, um, yeah, 33, 34 mpg, so, Man. yeah, off we go. It's gonna be a weird sensation for me. Yeah, so this is. I can I can see this being like so easy to drive around town. It is. As I said, I know we're an individual at the moment, so it's been um, fairly aggressive as both setting. But I mean, it just I feel the, the steering feels so light. It's nice. My RS is not like this at all. No. This is yeah. This well, is that, so this, light. This feels light to you, steering. -wise. Really light, yeah. So this to me feels quite heavy. Not it's not necessarily a bad way, but that you well if. Just out of interest, if we put it in, just to give, show you the difference, put it in comfort, so obviously it goes... Jesus see Christ, how, see, how that is light. see how light it feels now? Yeah, I couldn't do that with mine. No? No, I'd, I'd physically have to... You probably could, but you have to, you'd have to give it way more force. Interesting. Yeah, so keep going. Uh, One more. Well, yeah, you can feel that gets stiff and dynamic, can't you? Yeah, so steering um, gets heavier again. Obviously it you're still in, feels good, though. Um, that sounds ridiculous. Yeah, it's the noise for me. God, can really you see the boost? Yeah, the boost. You see the boost gauge fill up. Such 
Oh, it does. Yeah, it, it's so nice. It's, that's why I said it. it. Just it doesn't get old. It it, it isn't the most um, you know. It's not the purest driving experience in the world. It's not the best handling car in the world. But for what it is, um, in terms of redlining, engine noise, theatre, everything, it, it, it does it, sound it, really, really good. It doesn't get old. Well, I think the RS sounds nice, and I'll show you that when we uh, when it's when it's running better. Yeah. I'll tell you out and so everything. Mine, this sounds more like a supercar, whereas my RS sounds very much like a, a rally car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, people say about this engine, it's, um, I think it was, it, <laughs> it's quite <big. laughs> It was built with the uh, old 80s Quattro car in mind. It, there is a lot of similarity between the engine, and again, it is, <sighs> people say it sounds like a baby V10. It and does. there are characteristics that sound like it. I mean, obviously, the V10 is, it's on another level, but, for what this is, um, it, 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 it just loves it, really, doesn't it? it does, yeah. But then, like, it just happily goes and just chills at like really low revs, and yep. it's fine. Then you get the kick down. Yeah, happy to kick down, boost up, but um, down shifting. <sighs> Yeah, I'd be doing this all the time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, obviously oh. you, know, you can go through a fair bit of petrol, but when you've got the soundtrack like that, it is worth it. Is it is hundred percent. Never fails to put a smile on my face either. I can, I can see why. To, to yeah. be honest, I think anyone would say the same. If you know, you've got your pride and your joy, car-wise, whether it's you know one of these or something else. It's like it's just you don't even have to go like above the speed limit to enjoy it and that's the greatest thing no. i think that's the great thing about hot hatches in general yeah. it's like you feel like you're going the acceleration is what i prefer in a car i couldn't care about top speed or sure. what it puts out in brake horsepower if it accelerates well and puts you back in your seat and sounds nice that is all i could ask for and handles yeah. well yeah That is, that is quick and it feels so planted as well. 
worry about um, the back end coming out or anything like that. It's no, not a case all. of plant your foot. Do you get a lot of people looking at it? I find that with the RS, a lot of people look at it because it's quite a standout car. People like, I like the colour scheme. Or, well, I always find that without without it, it's, it's very hard to tell the difference from behind, especially. Well, in the dark uh, and stuff, uh, yeah, with the, with the mean, oval pipes on these, you can. Say you but, can tell, obviously, with an RS, it's all the RS models have oval pipes, so it kind of yeah. gives it away. But um, happily cruises as well. Yeah. yeah. Again, we're still in individual, so it's still in sort of as by mode, if you like. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, it, it does. It does get attention. Um, it's more than noise. It's simply, yeah. you know, you go past people, pops and like bangs or whatever. It, you know, it will, it will draw. So your pops and bangs sound really nice. Mine sound more like gunshots. We had that one where I was driving and we went round that corner where it sounded like machine gun fire. Yeah. You do get some for some reason yeah. they're oh, just a lot louder. Um. See, I'm used to the heavier steering where I really have to put force into it. Because it's so light. See, it's interesting I'm for like you over, this over, Yeah, I'm overdoing it. When my RS is backing, I'll have to have a go in yeah, definitely. I've never driven an RS before, yeah. so that'd be a new experience for me. It's like, it just feels like it just wants to go all the time. Also, if we put it in dynamic, how? Let's so see how stiff the only thing, the only difference between this the and individual is, is the suspension. So the suspension now is in its firmest setting. Feels heavier now. Yeah. Yeah. It's no, it's weird for me because obviously I never usually drive autos. Sure. We're still at manual. Ooh, it's over into normal drive. Okay, three, three, three. The soundtrack from that is just. Said so it's completely st stop Audi Sports exhaust. I love that. It's just like. down at these points. It actually makes me want an auto a bit. I mean, my last car, my S3 was a manual, so I can see the appeal of it, and I did love that car. Um, it takes off quick as well, even yeah. when you just plant your foot. Auto's, I was say lazy, but I mean, it's, it's just a lot easier. A lot more easier. Right, everyone, we're gonna do a launch control, as we realized we didn't do it in the video, but now it's gonna be in the video, so it should be all clear. We're gonna do a launch for you now. And, uh, right, we are clear. Yeah, ready? Let's yeah. go. Jesus, that puts it down quick. Bloody well, doesn't it? Yeah. What's the quickest you've got out of this, 0 to 60? Draggy in good conditions in this, I got 3.78. Jesus, 3.78? Yeah, with a draggy. Jesus Christ. That was a good condition. That's nuts. Can you bear in mind that for this particular model of the um, RS3, Audi claim it's a um, There's some nice winding roads for you as well. It's a 4.3, it's 4 not a 4.3. Even no, in conditions like that, um, where it's a little bit greasy and gravelly, I would have still have expected probably bang on four or maybe yeah. just under. But on good conditions, lots of warmth in the tyres, uh, road surface good. If you get a good launch, yeah, definitely below four seconds. That's not. Now that you've had a little, I, I ten really like it. Oh, look, so, Fiesta ST, no? What do you think? Impression? Okay. My impressions of this car, I, I didn't think I'd like it as much as I actually do. No? The soundtrack on it is just my favourite part, probably. Yeah, it's the same. I for think me. The you agree. Yeah. It is the noise when you. Yeah, the soundtrack. When you start on pressing it. on Renault's valves point. open from about three thousand RPM onwards, it really, it really goes. 
it sounds really really nice and i really like it i think it handles well as well it's not bad but that's what i said it, it isn't the best handling car in the world that's ridiculous no i think that is a uh, first impressions for me is just nuts it's it's quick as i said it, it does the job it's not as i said it it, it handles um more than well enough for country roads um, I think the interior quality of it as well is nice as well. I like the open type of it as well. Yeah, I mean it's 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 understated, but yeah, build quality is again it's kind of typical Audi fare. Yes, yeah. it's, like, it's what you'd expect. But, uh. but yeah, first impressions, absolutely nuts car. I think with this with a remap would be absolutely bonkers. As I said stage stage car. stage one on this. Um, oh, we take it I'll to. Put that down. Just just, it. Take it to about four hundred and twenty brake. And just shy, or no, just yeah, I think around about 390 foot pounds, about 525, 530 newton meters. So it's, a, it's quite a big jump up. It's, it's almost 60 odd brake increase. It's nuts. Um, I mean, it's fast enough anyway as it is, but yeah. I think stage one would be ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, it would be unbelievably fast, yeah. It's nuts. I love it. Not sure if I love it as much as my RS, but <laughs> the, the, when it's, it's working, comfy, very, really, really comfy, but yeah. It's not uncomfortable, as I said, even in... Um, but the the que question, should you buy this as a used car? I think, I, I'd say, yeah, 100%. Yeah, absolutely. I, I again, think this it, is a great car to buy used. Like, I, I, I can't see myself paying 70 grand for <laughs> a brand new RS3, it, which uh, you spec them up, they were like 62 grand. It, it, it just it entirely depends in terms of what you're looking, looking for. for yeah. Whether you're looking for something that's more under what you'd call a driver's car or whether you want something that doesn't have as much feedback, but um, this is know, nuts. It goes and it sounds good. Yeah, it does. It's just personal preference, everyone's different, but again, that's why we've got the cars that we have. It's yeah. why we've got things like the RS, the RS. So I don't drive my RS particularly hard. <laughs> the one time I did, it blew up. <laughs> <laughs> Which doesn't give anything praise to the RS, I guess. Um, but this thing feels like it could just take it all day long. Yeah, as I said, I've had it a year, no problems. Yeah. Touch wood, obviously, but. Um, yeah, look what we were doing. We got up and down the road range over and over and over again. Yeah, it's just fine. Happy to. Happily just deals with it. Yeah. But yeah, I think I'd definitely buy one of the used cars. But for, for, for a used car, for a 15 or a 16, it's not an old car. No, not at all. Um, and you think, well, three, four years old, it's not a, It's not an old bit of kit. I mean, I know they're bringing out, obviously, there's the facelift and then there's the um, new 19 one with the um, uh, OPF filter in it. Again, it just it depends. Yeah. It just depends in terms of what you're looking for, what you're in the market for, what your preference is, and how much money you're prepared to spend. Yeah, I think I, I was prepared to spend about 25, 27 on mine, so that's where the RS was at. Sure. And I thought, you know, power-wise with the upgrades it had, I was like, Worth the money. Not, yeah, not yeah. not bad price, so I went for that. I was looking at the RS3s. Yeah. I just couldn't find the Nardo Grey one that I liked. Nardo Grey does look good, to be fair. It does look really, really nice. Nardo Grey or, on this, yeah. or on this model, Nardo Grey or Sepang Blue are probably yeah. the two colours. I think I, the white looks good. I think it's um, Glacier White. Yeah, um, just picks up the really easily. Yeah, Don't they all there now? Yeah, Everything's like that now. And the so. new ones on the facelift model, they've changed it to, uh, I think it's Aura Blue. That looks really nice yeah. as well. And Naldo's still around, so, um, yeah. It's just nuts. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, what's your Instagram? Go and get uh, follow you on Instagram. So, Instagram is uh, oldd93, so O L L D 93. Um, I'll link it in the description. Cool. And give, a, and give you a follow. Do you post many pictures of your cars? And honestly, no. I should. I should start. Do I should probably start doing. There's a lot of people that do like RS3s. Um, been tagged in a fair few posts, but yeah. I should probably start doing myself. But yeah, if you guys, 100%. if you guys want to follow, then you go ahead. Um, but I, I'll probably start posting something. So <laughs> yeah, definitely. Anyway, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Turn on the little uh, bell notification thing. It means you get. A, it means you get a nice fat notification when I start live streaming for the first time, probably in ages, or upload a video for the first time in maybe two months. But yeah, I'm a bit inconsistent. But then again, I've got a car that blow up, so can't yeah, really do too much. You've got an excuse for it. So. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you subscribe as well, and uh, catch you next time. Peace.